Michael, hello to all of you. I have a question. Is it possible to apply a dynamic Windows 365 group or dynamic security group to a shared mailbox in Exchange Online? The goal should be for the members of the dynamic Windows 365 group or dynamic security group in Azure AD, now Entra ID, uh, to transfer the member to the shared mail mailbox. Almost a dynamic shared mailbox. Transfer the member. So what we were talking about, and, and part of it, it's always yeah. interesting asking people asking questions because I don't think there's anything, there's nothing called dynamic Windows 365 group. So I think it's just the no. And but why all that? Why all that to transfer a member either? Yeah, the yeah. Microsoft 365 groups I know can be dynamic, and you set that up in, I believe it's intra, not in the Microsoft 365 admin if they're dynamic. And whether that would be something that you could put into a um, shared mailbox or whether you'd use something else for a shared mailbox, um, not familiar with. I know with Microsoft 365 groups, the thing I realized was Teams admin gives you the ability to control certain aspects of groups because they underlie under their underlying teams, but it doesn't allow you to do the administration you need for dynamic groups. That's a groups administrator right or role that you need. Um, so I'd say part of it might be to test. You'd need to make sure you have the appropriate rights in um, intra to make the changes to a dynamic group. And then um, I'm not familiar with the, the shared mailbox piece of the question. I almost want to go back to Michael and say, what's your problem? Like, yeah, yeah I always mm -hmm. go back to what what's this challenge you're trying to solve? Because this seems like a whole big workaround for something that probably has a simpler solution to it. Um, if, you know, he's using things that he knows but if we could start with what the challenge is, then we yeah. might be able to find a better solution. And I know with Microsoft 365 groups, the default behavior depends on where you define it. So if it's a regular Microsoft 365 group and you define it in Outlook versus Teams versus SharePoint or Stream, it may have some different behaviors based on where it was set up in the first place, especially with the you know, the groups mailbox, which is a thing that you get with those uh, those groups as well. And there's a way to change those settings in Outlook that Ricardo Wilkins from Microsoft blogged about on Cute for Teams, his Champions Using Teams Effectively weekly show. So I learned kind of a place to change whether um, when something goes on the group calendar, whether it shows up on my personal calendar or not, is a setting that everybody in the group can control. So Sherry, totally agree. You know, we need to we need to ask Michael some clarifying questions before <laughs> yeah. we just throw out a here's what you should do. <laughs> <laughs> As is the case with a lot of our questions. It's like uh, <laughs> tell me more. I do fat there's one article uh, article fed a good one over in Stack Overflow. So how to use Azure AD, Entra ID, dynamic groups to manage uh, shared mailboxes in, in Azure. Perfect. Put the link in the chat. I think that should <laughs> that should help. The link will be below. Right at those. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well it, it's uh, again, it's always difficult with these. It's that we I, I'm sure it will post this with this link and someone will go in and, and say well that's not exactly the the thing and i that didn't work for me it's like yeah we don't have the ability to ask a follow-up question to understand what michael's trying to do we're taking our best guess based on this limited information um so understanding that there are some potentially some other ways of approaching this depending on the nuances of what he's trying to accomplish and so yeah, I you know appreciate uh, constructive feedback of somebody who may interpret this differently and therefore have a different solution. We will of course always answer the question when somebody asks a question um, to something that's out on YouTube or on the blog. I will push it back out to this panel and say, hey, does anybody want 
to go and respond to this question, this follow-up, because um, more information is always good. Having clarified um, what Michael was asking, but we're doing our best, folks. Yes, indeedy. 